Is that crow flying upside down? That one right there. It is. These are some tactical crows, man. They're all upside down. <laughs> What's up, guys? We're back today with Totally Accurate Battle Simulator. And last episode, we finally ended up defeating the Renaissance faction. So now we're playing the Renaissance faction going against all the other factions. So we're starting today with the first battle against the tribal faction. And they have a good chunk of men from pretty much the whole faction. So we're going to start off with just a good chunk of the... Uh, Ren or, yeah, the Renaissance faction and just see what they can do. So, uh, let's get straight into this. Oh, we just snipe that guy. There goes one with the balloons. I'm so glad I can still make people fly. Oh, yes, they got the bone mage. Oh, that chieftain. Oh, I didn't think about the chieftains. The chieftains are their stronger ones. Right after the mammoth. Oh, I only have range guys left. Oh, that's not good. Um, man, you took that right to the shoulder. Come on, that's like a flesh wound. Come on. So they have like four um, chieftain, which is their strongest one right after Fluffy. So our strongest one is the jousters who run around on their wobbly horses and apparently do some pretty good damage with a blunt end and stick to the face. I don't think he saw that coming. I guess apparently the tribal faction's next choice of action is a bunch of chieftains in a line. I just noticed their skulls have eyes. That blink. That's kind of creepy. Um, but anyways, let's just see how they do up against a Da Vinci tank. I mean, like they're in a line. It's probably just gonna be like bowling. Bowling for chieftains? Any day now, Da Vinci tank, you let them get really close. Like, way closer than you needed to let them get. You're not doing all that great, Da Vinci. Um, they aren't, like, okay, now they're, they're starting to, oh god, oh god. They're starting to get close enough to do damage, but you're kind of like just flinging them. Almost like an evil merry-go-round. Um, works for me. Apparently they learned from their last mistake and they uh, they don't want to be in a line anymore. They want to spread it out like all over the entire map. So I think we'll do the same and we'll just send a good chunk of our forces at them. Let's go, boys. Um, I don't know how well this is going to go. I am also zoomed really far out so I could see this whole thing. Um, So the battling is starting. My balloon archer missed. That kind of sucks. Oh, there's my jouster. Go do some damage, jouster. Um, the chieftain, man, just takes my units out until they get sniped in the head by one of my... Oh, no, the jouster's down. Not the jouster. The jouster was my, my trump card in the last episode. The last battle. That, okay. The chieftain is down. You don't need to shoot them when they're in the sky. Just focus on the ones on the ground. Please and thank you. There we go. Um... I think we're doing pretty good. Um, as long as my musketeers can continue to shoot some shots off and actually hit them. And take them up by their feet. Oh, right in the head. Right, right in the head. I was going to say right in the chest. But then they hit him with a headshot. We finished off the tribal faction and now we're going against the f what happens if I just run this with the jouster? Will the jouster just take everyone out? I mean, the jouster is pretty kind of dodgy with his wibbly wobbly horse and packs a wallop when he actually hits things and apparently can just trample enemies. Did I even need any units on this or did it give me exactly what I needed? If the jouster can just turn slightly sharper, not in the water. Oh, come on! You just, you just gotta hit her. You just you just you just don't don't get stuck in the water. Okay, the wobbly horse does good at getting out of the water. It's just turning to fight the enemy. Okay, this this is getting this is getting a little out of hand, Mr. Jouster. Just hit her. 
we were defeated. Okay, so the jouster needs a little bit of help. Fine by me, we'll give him two musketeers. Ooh, completely missed all the targets on the field. Musketeers, I just need you to pick out the ones with the giant size. Oh, and not get that close. Not get that close. Okay. Okay, so maybe musketeers were the wrong idea. And how about we give him two painters and some balloon archers who still missed all of the targets. There we go. We got a halfling. Doesn't really help me out all that much. But maybe here in a minute or two, when the painters get completely wrecked, because the painters apparently don't do much damage. Um, yeah, this... Oh, the jouster took out the uh, harbingers. And there goes a halfling into space, like I'd like. This time, they gave me a couple chieftains? I don't know why I need chieftains when we're using the Renaissance faction. But maybe we'll kind of try to keep up what we're doing and use the chieftains as our main, like, melee front? And we'll just give ourselves some balloon archers and two painters because that seemed to help us last time and we'll see what that does for us balloon archers take them to space oh they have crows i forgot about the crows i didn't look at the scarecrows i didn't look at their units and we took out one of our own chieftain that's good at least we're taking them to space if you guys could please hit the scarecrows that would probably be good the scarecrows are what we need to take out because their crows do a lot of damage. Okay. Hmm. We need something that hits a little bit harder, so I'm going to throw in two musketeers and take out the painters and just a couple of the balloon archers to see if that helps us out. Because if the musketeers could hit the scarecrows in the back, we should be good. Again, if they could hit the ones in the back... We would be good. Okay, there's one scarecrow. We're starting to aim for the crows, which is good. As long as my musketeers can shoot them. My musketeers did not shoot them. Okay. All right, new plan. We'll have three musketeers to take out the, uh, the forces from arranged. And then we'll throw in a few of our um, fencers. Now we're going to bring up the rear and help mitigate the forces once the chieftains made it through, but that did not work. And the scarecrows are actually moving this round, which is kind of scary. Musketeers, shoot the scarecrows. Oh, we got him. Oh, thank you. This one surviving dude who's about to poop his pants because he's about to get blown up by a bunch of crows like his friends were. Is that crow flying upside down? That one right there, it is. These are some tactical crows, man. They're all upside down. <laughs> so now we're just up against the farming faction and we don't have any pre-made units on our side, which kind of helps. So I threw in a couple musketers and um, just some of our melee units with two jousters to see if they could take out the tide, which worked out amazing. I kind of was hoping the Jousters would have gone for the Bob Rosses and we would have just had like Lil Barrow and Horse chasing each other in circles. It would have been funny. Against the Medieval Faction, but now we have some of the Farming Faction with us. So we have Haybellers on our side. Against Archers, Catapults, and a couple Bards. So I feel like we need something ranged to deal with their ranged. And I only have Musketers that I can choose. So I'm going to assume this is just figuring out how to tactically place my musketers. So when the catapult does start shooting at them, they don't all die. Is the only thing I can think of. So let's try that and see. Oh my God, they all shot the two bards. And one. Oh goodness, they have some good shots with their bows. Okay, the catapult, the, the ranged, you need to shoot the ranged units that have 
faster shooting than you. I think I have all muscular left. And he got shot right in the groin. It's not an episode of tabs unless someone takes an arrow to the... Okay, maybe if I get a couple of my musketers like right up at the front, then the range units on the other side will aim for them instead of the hay bellers right away. So I'll get a bit more of a shield until my musketers get right up and in their face and then start getting shot. So we have a crud ton of archers left, which doesn't help me. So I'm almost thinking I need the musketers to be the meat shield, and I need the hay balers to be my main force. So what if we leave our two up front, so they take the main brunt, and then we have a line of musketers that don't move, and get pushed by the hay balers, and then musketers that follow in the rear? That still don't help me do much, but we did take out the catapults. And the hay bellers seem to do fine against some arrows, so that does help me. Especially once we get right up and on the archers. Oh, they took him out in the toes! Took him out right at the toe! Love it! Apparently the medieval faction didn't learn from the tribal faction, and they're gonna fight in a line with a couple of their heavy units at the front and in the rear. So, what if I just hit them with like a barrage of units? We took out a single squire. Um, it's definitely chaos. Uh, one of our guys is flying. Oh, there goes a night shield. That might help me. Um, I don't know what's going on. I just see our units flying and their units flying and our units falling and their units falling. <laughs> and a lot of balloons. Um, I, I think we're doing pretty good. We have a couple kings left, which isn't good. Um... And a couple more of our units flying. Oh, we still have some squires that are still alive. Um, musketers, if you could please take out the kings. That would be amazing. Are they wearing their bulletproof shirts today? Oh, hello, balloon. Oh, I wasn't expecting you right there. Um, please don't shoot the king in the... And just take him out. Okay, we have one balloon archer left. Um, balloon archer, stop shooting him in the dick. You know what? We have the money, so we're just gonna hit them with the Da Vinci tank. And, uh, hey, Bellers, don't get that close to the tank. Um, he's gonna throw you. Um, I also have a couple musketers just to shoot them from the sides, if they stay off to the sides. And my hay Bellers are being an amazing distraction right now. We're just pushing them right off the cliff, which is amazing. I really hope they all fall in the water. No, they all kind of survived that. What are you shooting at? There's nothing over there. Okay, you're gonna push your own musketers off the cliff too, I see. Um, this could either be really bad for us or really good for us. That king has his sword behind his back. Just shoot, he's, he's like heads right in front of your musket. Just lower the musket and shoot. Well, there goes one king. Uh, da Vinci, can you please push him off the, the, the cliff? He's at a disadvantage. He has his sword behind his back. Thank you. That does not look all that nice taking giant cannonball straight to the face and then putting your face into a tree yay apparently they still haven't learned their lesson about lines but i can only use the musketer so i'm going to assume i just kind of want to make my my own channel of musketers here at first so they have something to focus on and then maybe just like put a wall back here um, musketers, if you could please shoot those kings in the face and reload. I need you to reload. I need you to reload really fast. Musketers. Okay, I need you to load faster than that. What did you guys just get hit by? Like a... Musketers, this is getting a little frame rate droppy. Um... Mus, mus, musket, musketers. Okay. I'm, we're just gonna spread them out a little bit more. See if that helps. Um, musketers. If you could please stay in the trees. I put you in the trees. So the kings can't get you. So I need you to not move. Do not move off of that tree. You, my good sir, do not move off of that tree. Okay, so far, this, this is looking pretty good. 
Um, they haven't focused on the musketer in the tree yet. Some of them did fall down that path. Um, musketers, I need you to load faster. I feel like I need them in waves, so they all, oops, sorry, Mike. So they all shoot at different times and then reload at different times. Because right now, are you still in the tree? Good. Um, this isn't really working for me. And there's a king stuck over there. Can you guys reach him? You can reach him. Of course you could reach him. Why wouldn't you be able to reach him with that, like, eight foot long sword? All right, I spread them out slightly more. They all seem to just walk up and shoot all at once. Um, okay, but well we are getting a couple that are shooting off at different rates. I did put a couple down below, so hopefully they can come up and kind of join the fight after we take out a couple kings. Or when kings fall down, they can take a couple out. That one has his gun behind his back. That doesn't help me. Um, I still have the one in the tree, because why not? Um, wow, they actually kind of stayed a little bit more spread out. And because of that, they all then shoot as one giant group. Which helps me out a little bit. Um, maybe. They are still just bullet sponges. Oh, come on, get him. Get him. Get him. Get him. Get him. Not not him. I wanted them to get you. Can we please shoot the king? A couple more times, please, and thank you. I'm impressed he's missed with that giant spin attack he just did. But uh, we finally took the kings out, thank goodness. So we may have a slight issue now. Now we're back up against the ancient faction. And they have their archers. They have their uh, hoblites. They have a ballista. They have their shield bearers. And they have another ballista. And I don't have much money to go with. So we have a couple uh, of our fencers, a few painters, uh, the like executor guy, I forget what his name was, and then some balloon archers in the rear. I don't think this is gonna do much of a dent on their army. So uh, let's just put this into play. And hopefully we can take out a couple of their archers and get rid of their ranged element. Which does not look like it's going to help me out all that much. And those guys are going to walk straight into a ballista. And take that. Not to the face. Okay, that ballista got stuck. Our balloon archers are coming in. And our balloon archers are gone. Our balloon archers are coming back in. And I believe our balloon archers are gone. Um... Okay, we do have a fencer and our axe guy, and we have them in a pile, which I think is helping. I, I don't know. I'm extremely concerned on this tactic. We just like piled them up in a corner and attacked. Are you guys going for the, oh goodness, I can't. Uh, hold on, I'm coming, I'm coming, I'm coming. You guys are gonna go for the ballista, aren't you? Oh, you're already hitting him. Um. Are you guys going to disappear off the face of the planet when the ballista shoots at you? Gotta be quick, my guy. Gotta be quick. Hit him. Gotta hit him. Gotta hit him. And you're gone. Okay, balloon archers. It's up to you. That worked. This episode of Totally Accurate Battle Simulator. If you like this video, make sure you leave a like on it. If you're not a subscriber and you like watching my stuff, make sure you hit the subscribe button and ring the bell icon down below the video. And if there's any games you want to see me play, leave those down in the comments and I will try to get to it when I have some free time. But until next time, guys, bye! I oh, well, views. Did we lose? Thank goodness. I really hate ending the video on a win when I planned for it to lose.